Happy Friday, Dolly friends. I had to come on, I have to hurry because I have to go to work, but I had to come on with my Charles, my boy. He hasn't been feeling good. And um, I wanted to do Gail's Halloween tag before I go to work. Um, it looks to be so much fun and I wanted to share in that with her. So I'm here with a couple of my monsters. <laughs> uh, my youngest son made this monster at Build-A-Bear um, quite a few years back. And then I won my gremlin at a carnival at Santa Caligon Days um, quite a few years back. So um, I thought they would be fun to show for this Halloween video. And here's my boy. He's still in his... Um, Charlie, Bar Charlie Brown, sorry, I'm not talking well this morning. It's too early. And um, yeah, he's still in his pajamas and I am going to change him into something with a little bit of orange because orange was a part of this week's theme Thursday. So there is just a little tiny bit of orange in this outfit. It is an orange scarf on this little puppy dog. And uh, then he's going to have some orange and gray striped socks and some tan shoes. And you know, Charles does not like shoes, but hopefully he will work with me this morning while we do Gail's tag. All right. Here we go. Question number one. Do you decorate your house for Halloween? If so, inside, outside, or both? I do a little bit of both. Um, I don't have a lot of decorations outside, but we do carve pumpkins, um, usually the night before Halloween. My son and I, my youngest son and I, carve pumpkins. And uh, so we have them lit up on the sides coming up to the house. And... Um, I put out a Halloween flag, uh, just a little flag on my little um, garden flagpole. And I have a blow mold, uh, a big blow mold uh, jack-o'-lantern that my mom gave me. And um, I don't, it doesn't light up very well, but it is on my porch for Halloween. So I do a little bit of decorating outside and then I'm gonna show you some video of the decorations I have indoors and it's really rainy outside but I also decorate my kitchen window I have two windows here at this house so I just put some fun little decorations in the window there's my little witch and she's by her house I love her little twisty hair and her little foot up in the air with her striped stockings and then here's my little trick-or-treater. He's holding a sign that says the Great Pumpkin. And my little bug-eyed um, Halloween pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern. And these cute little guys, if you move them, they bobble around. And my black owl, my hoot owl um, plate. And my little ghost in the basket and a happy fall. So there's one window, all decorated. And over here is my other window decorated. 
And this one is more of a fall theme, but I do have my candle jack-o'-lantern. It has a pumpkin cupcake candle in his mouth. And my scarecrows, my happy fall, and my little kitty with the pumpkin, and my morning pumpkin cup of coffee candle, and cherish each day my little pretty birds my bluebirds of fall so yeah i love decorating for the holidays also in my kitchen i have this adorable little girl witch decoration and she's holding a jack-o-lantern and this is lit up it's kind of hard to see but it's lit up and there's her little hat I love this little girl. I found her at an antique shop a few years ago. So yeah, she's fun to bring out for Halloween. Also in my kitchen, I like to hang up my tea towels. Uh, the ones that I don't want used. Um, I found these, um, these go over my cabinets. They just have a little hook. And I can put my tea towels up every holiday and nobody can wipe their hands on them because uh, my husband's terrible about doing that. But here's my trick-or-treat tea towel. And then over here on this one, on this cabinet is this one that I love, the little trick-or-treater dressed up in polka dots. And he's got his scary candy holder and little bats. So when I send you a tea towel, I always think about this. You don't have to use them. You can always hang them up for decoration. And here's my fall tea towel that I love so much. So yeah, there's always different things you can do with your tea towels. I do have a few Halloween decorations on our TV stand here. Um, I have my favorite two witches, Ethel and Myrna, and Myrna has her little jack-o'-lantern, and Ethel has a little spider that dangles from this little pole she's holding, and Ethel is wearing black with black and white polka dots, and Myrna has a pretty green witch costume on with little white buttons. And there's their two little teeth. And they're standing by this old vintage looking flower. Um, it's on a tree stump, has a little moss on it. This was a gift from a friend. And the tree, or I'm sorry, the flower is made out of old book pages. And there's a button in the center. So there are Ethel and Myrna. I got these on my last outing with my dad, if you can believe it. Uh, we went to Lake Lottawana, Missouri to visit my childhood home. And we picked these up at an antique shop. It was like a craft antique shop and a lady um, was making all sorts of different figures and I got these for Halloween. So that's a great mem memory with my dad. And I am very careful with these two little girls because <laughs> I would just be heartbroken if anything happened to him because that was my last trip with my dad. And then down here, we have my pumpkin girl. I hope it isn't dusty down there. I didn't get everything dusted before I took this video. But anyway, she has on a cute little leaf dress. There's that sweet face and her little stem on top. And she's holding a little pumpkin doll with a sunflower dress on. And she's got a squash in the other hand. So there's my pumpkin doll for Halloween. Uh, so I have this fun Halloween decoration at the entryway of our house so that if I do get a few trick-or-treaters, they can push the button. It is a haunted house, and 
if you push the button, it makes some scary sounds and it has some bats in it. And I'm going to shut the light off and show you, but um, it's kind of hard to see in the dark, but uh, little bats fly around all through the air. So just a minute and I'll turn it on. Let me shut my light off. And push the button. Question number two. How many trick-or-treaters do you usually get? Um, at our old house, we just moved here, so um, I've told my customers that I'm close to that have children that I adore and have been a part of their lives for years to be sure to stop by. I'm not expecting a lot of trick-or-treaters. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> are you showing off your little pizzies? Huh? Um, but I have told a few, so hopefully I will get a few trick-or-treaters. I just love it when the kids stop by. But at the other house, um, we did pretty good. Probably usually around 50 kids, 40 to 50 kids, which I think is pretty good for trick-or-treat. Question number three, what do you hand out to your trick-or-treaters? Oh, this is a fun part for me. I hand out usually a mini can of soda um, around the holidays, around um, Halloween, they bring out like spooky cans of pop. So I bought 7-Up um, and Orange Crush and I think it's A&W Root Beer. I'll have to show them if I can remember <laughs> to put it in the video. Um, they have little haunted houses on them and monsters. Uh, so I like to hand them out. And I usually try to do a full-size candy bar. I'm not sure if I can afford that this year. So it may just be mini candy bars, but I've already bought all the cans of soda for our trick-or-treaters. Question number four, do you have a Halloween party at your house or attend one? No, um, we do not have a Halloween party. Um, we just usually stay home and hand out candy. And um, we watch a marathon of scary movies and have popcorn and treats and just enjoy the evening. So we usually don't go out. Now that the kids are grown, we usually don't go out at all. We just stay home and watch movies and enjoy the evening and the trick-or-treaters that stop by. Okay, number five. What is your favorite Halloween character? Oh, my. Um, I love a wide variety of characters. It's so fun to see what kids come up with for costumes. Um, I love the vintage ideas. Um you know, from the 80s is always fun, um, and Scooby-Doo, and uh, those kinds of things, but I also, I really love the unique ideas. I used to babysit for a little girl, Danica. I started watching her when she was 18 months old, and I kept her for um, six years, six years, and um, her first year of trick-or-treating at my house, her mom made a costume she was a pink crayon and she made the costume herself. It was really simple, but so perfect. And she just took a, a real pretty pink um, party hat and then she put her in a pink sweatshirt and a pink pair of sweatpants. And then she uh, made a, a big C for the front of her costume. It was so cute and just simple, but I loved it. That was a cute one. So I love seeing what they come up with for their costumes on Halloween. Question number six, do you like caramel apples? 
Yes, I do. I like the simple caramel apple with just the caramel on top. I know nowadays they do all of the like candy and stuff on them, but I just like the old fashioned caramel apple. And so, yeah, I remember making them once in a while with, with my mom for Halloween. Question number seven, do you dress your reborns in Halloween costumes? Uh, a few of them. I dress my bigger babies in Halloween costumes because they don't really sell them small enough for like my my preemie babies. But yeah, I do like to dress my bigger babies up in Halloween costumes. It is so much fun to see what um, costumes they have for babies. So yeah, I dress a few babies up for Halloween. And number eight, do you dress up for Halloween? Not usually. Uh, one year I did dress up and I'm going to include a picture. I dressed up as Hazel. Uh, Hazel is an old woman, a little scary old woman. And I found the mask. It was so cute. <laughs> Not cute, but cute. And I had to dress up as Hazel that year. So let me show you a picture of Hazel. So there she is. Um, it was just a simple little, <laughs> I just found a black skirt and um, a green t-shirt and a, a black coat and a staff to carry like a, or to walk with kind of like a cane and some green and white striped uh, stockings and some black dress shoes. And everybody got a kick out of Hazel. <laughs> and I had told my mom that I was dressing up for Halloween as Hazel. But she lives 350 miles away. So she didn't get to see her. But I had told her about it. And she just got the biggest kick about hearing how I dressed up as this old woman. And uh, I... Uh, she's kind of a witchy woman. She was an old witchy woman. But anyway, so we go to see my mom around... Thanksgiving. And this year that I dressed up as Hazel, I got dressed up in that costume and it was so cold because they live in South Dakota, you know, and uh, I knocked on her door and, you know, Halloween had already passed <laughs> and I hadn't sent her a picture of Hazel. And so I knocked on her door and I told her that my cat had ran out of the house and I was walking around the neighborhood trying to find out if anybody had seen my cat. And could I use her phone because I was getting cold and I wanted my son to give me a, <laughs> a ride home. And she would not open the door. <laughs> she, she left me standing in the doorway. I was like, can I come in? She's like, no, 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 honey. Uh, 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 who can I call for you? But no, she wouldn't let me in the house as Hazel. So we still joke about Hazel and I still have Hazel's um, staff and I still have her. I have the mask and the stockings and I will keep them until I'm gone. Maybe another year I will dress up as Hazel again. Who knows? So there you have it. My Charles is all dressed up with his little orange puppy and he's keeping his little shoes on and he looks extra sweet today. And he's feeling better. And he's smiling bright with those pretty, pretty eyes. Oh, he always makes me feel better. I've had a really rough week with migraines. I think it must be the weather or something. I struggled Monday, Tuesday, and, uh, or no, it was Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yesterday being the worst. Um, I barely made it to work, but um, I prayed a lot and I medicated a lot and I made it through and I enjoyed my son's birthday. We had cupcakes and a lot of laughs and uh, districts tomorrow. So everybody have a great weekend. Happy Halloween. Um, just have fun 
and I will see you sometime soon. Um, continue finding joy in the little things. And thanks for always coming by to see us. So I love you. Bye-bye.